Hi, I'd like to introduce you to an app that can take three oscillators or samples on the elect drive and with a press of a big button, play them at once. If your voices are polyphonic, you can play them that way as well. What the app does is take any note you play on parts one, two, or three, and loops it back on any one of the two other parts. The app works in an environment called Lemur, which you need to download from the App Store. And once you install the app, go to the settings and make sure the input is MIDI coming in from the Electribe and the output is MIDI going back out to the Electribe. Once the app is set up, you really only turn it on or off with a big button. Let's listen to some of the sounds this can make. Here I've got three simple sawtooth waves set up an octave apart. This will use up a lot of voices, but it sounds pretty cool. Let's have a look at another preset I created. This preset is made up of a simple major chord. With a filter envelope on each of the oscillators, each of the notes is pitched using the pitch knob, creating a relative pitch. You can create some pretty interesting new or spread chords this way. The pitch numbers aren't very intuitive, so I've included a table here you can use to figure it out. But controlling the pitch per oscillator isn't the only thing you can do individually. Here I have a filter LFO, but only on the highest oscillator. Let's go to trigger mode and apply a modulation to the lowest note. Let's make it a pitch attack modulation. And now we have a completely different sound we can play with. Now what if I felt that LFO was going on for too long? So you can control the amplitude envelope of each and every one of the voices individually as well. Oops. So let's do that. What I'm doing here is trying to find the perfect decay or release, but only for oscillator number three. That's a bit too long. Okay. Let's look at a few more sounds. You don't have to use three oscillators, obviously. You can use just two and create pretty nice sounds. Besides different LFOs, you can also apply different insert effects. Here I've got a delay for the oscillator on part one. I'll change it, let's say, to a tremolo for part two to create a pretty nice sound. The options are, of course, endless. Here I've combined a few different pulse waves.
Multi-oscillator glides are pretty cool too. Here are a few in mono. And it also works on poly mode too. And if you're curious, that sound was a low sine wave with two saws. Okay, let's talk about sequencing. So you can sequence with this app as well. The best way to do it is make sure that the app is off, and then pick any one of the parts, one, two, or three. Once you're done sequencing, you'll hear just the one oscillator ring out. Then disable recording and turn on the app. That's pretty much it. If you turn off the big uh, button, then of course just the one note will play. If you wanted to record a multi-oscillator sound in a way that you wouldn't be dependent on the app later on, just hit record and activate the app. The only trick here is that you need to be ready to press stop before your pattern loops back to the beginning. Otherwise the MIDI will loop back on itself and you'll get unexpected results. But time it right and you should be just fine. You can disconnect your phone and enjoy all three oscillators working together without needing the phone or the app. So that's pretty much it for version one of this app. Obviously this can be improved on a lot, a lot of features can be added. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments, of what you think can be added, what's good, what's bad with it, what you'd improve. Hit subscribe and like if you want to see more of this stuff. Thanks very much for watching.